Hello, my name is Kim. I'm an artist and my goal is to help people learn how to paint in a fun and approachable way. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a spooky graveyard scene, broken down step by step so that even a beginner can follow along. With that, let's jump right into it. To start, I've added some black, some white, and some blue to my canvas, and I'm going to use a large flat brush to blend it all out. I'm going to use this as my misty background and I'm going to take it roughly two thirds of the way down the canvas and then we're going to add black directly to the bottom and blend it up into that misty background. Next, I've added some white and some black to my palette. I'm going to use a medium pointed brush and dip into my white. And here I'm planning ahead for where I want my moon to be. Um, so I don't want it to be obstructed by any of the trees we're going to paint next. I want it to be framed by the trees instead. And so this part doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to roughly add where I want my moon to be so I can keep that in mind as we finish up the background. to dip into my black with that same brush and we're going to start painting the trees in the background. So I'm going to do this in three different layers. The first layer I'm going to use only a little bit of paint and I want this to look like the farthest trees away from where we're standing are receding into the misty background and then as I go I'm going to increase the amount of black paint on my brush. So I'm going to paint a medium layer of darker trees and finally the darkest layer of trees at the forefront. Once you're happy with your trees, I'm going to add some green as well as some orange to my palette. And I'm using this larger bristly brush. I'm not really sure what the name is, but it's a really common brush you can find at hardware stores or dollar stores. And I'm going to dip into my green, shake off a little bit of the paint, and then continue on. So I have the densest amount of paint towards the bottom and the foreground, and then I slowly try to lessen it as I recede into the background. So we're going to add some green first for the grass and then I'm going to dip into the orange next to add that effect of the leaves having fallen from the trees. Now I'm using that same pointed brush from earlier and I'm dipping directly into the orange and I'm going to add some leaves in the trees um, just sparsely here and there where they haven't fallen to the ground yet. So I'm going to add some into the trees, I'm going to add a few where they're kind of falling gently to the ground, and then I'm also going to add a few on the ground as well, concentrating them around the trees where they would have fallen naturally. All right, and just as I said not to worry too much about the moon previously, now we're gonna go back in with that white and really finalize the shape of the moon now that we're sure where it's going to be. And I'm using a bit of a trick here where I wet the corners of my brush so we can create this effect of like the glow around the moon as it fades into the mist. Once I finish that, I'm dipping right into my black and I'm gonna start working on some gravestones down below. Now, I know this is a little bit hard to see, but we're gonna be highlighting these later, so don't worry too much if they're a little bit difficult to make out for now.
Okay, and now I'm gonna move on to finalize some of the details up above. So I'm going to just re-add those little branches over the moon where I just covered them up, as well as fix up any little branches here and there that I wanna add in now that I see more of the full painting. I'm also gonna add a couple bats flying around the moon for effect, just cause it adds a little bit to that like spooky vibe that I want going on for this painting. Alright, and now we're finally on to the part I'm sure you were all waiting for. We're going to paint our ghosts in. I've decided I'm going to add a few ghosts here and I want it to look like they're coming out of the gravestone. So I'm going to add a little bit of like a trailing tail for them coming out of some of the gravestones I painted earlier here. So we're on to our finishing touches. I'm going to use a little bit of white and I'm going to highlight the gravestones as well as the trees. Instead of using the highlights from the direction of where the moon is, I'm actually going to take my direction from where my ghosts are. So it creates this kind of like eerie glow from where the ghosts are that it's casting onto the objects around them. And with that, we're on to our last and potentially most fun step. Um, so now you get to decide the faces of the ghosts. Bold disclaimer here, I painted some faces and then I ended up changing them in the finals. So don't sweat it too much. If you don't get it just right in the first place, you can always add some more white and then paint over going forward. So get creative here and have fun with them. And with that, we're finished. If you had fun painting this spooky scene together, then you're gonna love this next art tutorial I have for you on how to paint this cozy autumn campfire. So click to watch and I'll see you there.